Hi, I'm Winona Gardner, aka Buffy Gardner, also known as Captain Buffy. Now, this year was my first year of GIST, G I S H, the Great International Scavenger Hunt, who I heard about it from my friend Jessica. Now, I was not sure what this was, but I know that a, doing a scavenger hunt was on my bucket list. I was very interested in doing something fun and lighthearted like that, so she invited me to her team and I happily enjoyed being a part of her team. I, it was a team of 15 people and I uh, started working with the app, exploring its features. There was a chance to talk to other people in Wisconsin. You could look on a map and see where people were near you. Well, I found a Facebook group that was called the Wisconsin Gish. And I joined it and they had a picnic and I was very happy that they arranged for someone to come and get me so that I could spend a nice little day in Lake Park. I was very happy and I asked explicitly, is it okay if I take pictures of there? Because there were some kids there. And I had it recorded and they said yes. And I explained, I gave them my business card, I said I I do a white turtle rainbow, I'm an artist, a professional artist, I'd like to put it on my website, my YouTube channel, and things like that, you know? And they, they agreed with it and um, got to know with them. It was very brief though, not even an hour. I brought cherries and shared it, and I picked up McDonald's on the way home, and I didn't think much about it. Well, I saw that uh, they posted the picture of it in the public group on Facebook. And I thought, well, this was a gist event. I can use it when I do my team for the Facebook to show that I'm active in gist. And they went ballistic at me, publicly blasting me. They could have quietly sent me an email asking for me to take down the picture because there were kids in it, which they had already put on the internet. And, um, and the kids had signs and they were handling sign materials with gifts so I didn't know and I already asked explicit permission and received it and I tried to explain that to them but I was totally disrespected and when I got upset and said well I'd like my picture taken down they were mean to me it was okay if they had asked but if I asked they would call me being petty by one of the moderators and then they booted me up the group and I was so upset because it's like I didn't think I was fairly treated for one this is my first just experience I wasn't trying to harm anybody anything that I promoted was within the just spirit and everything I did ask permission I gave them my contact information I gave them my business card I was clear and direct and I felt really shut out and like is this what just is about, you know, being shut out? So I was like, well, what am I going to do? So I decided to apply for a scholarship and I won. I got me a scholarship and formed my own team, the Blessed Bee, but I didn't have any friends to invite. So when the random just bots filled my team, there are people from all around the world, Australia, Germany, Great Britain, New York, Tennessee, California. It was exciting. All these strangers that I'm hoping will be friends forever. We got 15 people total, so there's 14 other people. And lo and behold, we had a minor. And I was like, oh my God, is what's the rules about a minor? So I went to another Facebook group and posted the situation. And there was a huge debate about age limits and what was right and what was fair and what to follow and so I made it clear to talk to the mom and the mom was cool and every okay and I invited the mom in because we did ours on a discord chat and uh, you can share videos and photos you can do voice calls which is great for international folks because you can do video calls and you can do voice calls and it's really it's inexpensive and I've had this server for years and never had a chance to use it and I'm so grateful that I did. I was very happy about that. <laughs> so my biggest stressor though was I was starting grad school because I'm a new media journalism fine, master of fine arts student at Full Sail University Online 
and school was supposed to start July 30th and the hunt started July 27th. And I'm trying to do everything I can to learn how to be the best team member, reading all the commandments, networking with other captains, and trying to learn you know, how to do this. And I thought, did I take it on too much? Is this gonna be a disaster? I was afraid. And I reached out and there's some good people that were encouraging me. And so we were doing it for fun and uh, we had some good times, you know? And some of the favorite things I had was Sarah. She helped, you know, when I did item 11 for the foster care or organization, uh, she was able to donate to the cause. So I'm grateful for her contribution. And then I put in my money and the team rallied together as I shared the survivor story. And I was so grateful, so grateful to have the support. Uh, that went really well. The St. A experience was great being back with my former employer, working towards foster kids that I came up with a Native American wish list and had um, building a long-term relationship, offering volunteering and offering to work for Kathy's collection at St. A's and St. A's itself and meeting with Tim Grove on Wednesday. So that was the highlight. Um, Amber was awesome working with her to get her video up, um, doing the sign language video. She's a great team member. Carol came in very early and came and went. Uh, she did the Skittles item, painting uh, the supernatural, I think, I can't really think of his name. Super, the main, one of the main characters of Supernatural, it's Skittle Water. And she was gonna work on the dictionary item, but ran out of time, but she did the pudding one where you had to feed somebody so she did it with her brother and she did the video. So that was great. So Caro is a part of the team. Sharon from Great Britain came up with a hilarious spooky video of an ordinary sandbox. And he came up with a hero. Uh, Matt, he mimicked a hero. And then we had um, the minor in our group. Uh, she hasn't submitted yet. She's got like 30 minutes, but she was able to be a part of the team. Uh, at some point, Amber made the best team leader. Um, she took charge when I had to go work on my orientation or my paper. I was trying to do shifts because we were an international group. We wanted someone who was around at the night shift when I wasn't around. Um, so I was really grateful for her help. So thank you, Amber, for being a team leader. And Sean was a team leader and the minor was a team leader at one point and her mom was great support. And then there was, um, I can't say the name, it's this Y-N-D-R-C Windurk. I think it was Whitney. I didn't talk much, but she did submit, so I counted. So our team submitted so 14 items. And so this is the first time that six active members that submitted, but the brainstorming process was great. The creative process and coming up with ideas and helping each other out was great. Um, I would have loved to have been able to personally meet everybody in Seattle. That would have been fun or seeing, you know, Skype talk, but people's time was limited. Sometimes I'd be in the chat, there would be nobody there and other times I'd be bustling. So yeah, this is a good thing. So next year I want to be captain again. I would love to do Discord chat again. I'm so happy. I hope they continue to be my friends and continue to use my Discord chat. And instead of moving on their separate ways, I hope that we can maintain the friendship and just have a hangout. That I would love that. Uh, the Gish Network on Facebook was excellent for going to find out captain issues and polling. They are a great Facebook group. I'm excited. Um, that the Rwanda, the last time I checked, they had $197,000 uh, to help the women and children survivors of Rwanda genocide. And they had saved hundreds of cats and dogs to the Lucky Dog Animal Shelter. And uh, we raised money for St. A. And now with the wish list, hopefully year round, Native American foster kids or even any kid in general that wants to learn about Native culture can come there and it's great, you know? So um, just as a healing experience, the item 11 alone, 
transform my inner dark demons from my own survivor story of the foster care because I was a foster kid and being able to give back specifically to other Native American foster kids and foster kids in general was such a healing experience. I can't wait till Wednesday to see Tim and share some good news. And I made it through class. I did my project. I'm cleaning my room. I'm working on my white turtle rainbow self-employment business and things are happening. And hopefully I can stabilize on my sleep. My, I've been having a lot of mania. I have bipolar disorder. And uh, when I get a lot of ideas, I have a hard time to sleep. I get insomnia. But I had a great time. I was very happy. Uh, thank you, Misha Collins, for coming up with this wonderful experience. There were some bad things, there were some great things, and there were some excellent things. Wide spectrum experience, I would do it again. I'm kind of sad that it's almost over, um, but I can't wait to share these videos. So thank you. Thank you for coming to our YouTube channel. This is the Blessed Be YouTube channel. And as I get the chance, I'm gonna post the photos into their own videos. I've invited my team members to post introduction videos. Maybe we make some more commentary. Maybe I'll make a playlist of Saint A videos. Uh, who knows? But this is for now the home of just come enjoy it. Check out the playlist that we have posted from previous years and say something in the comments. Subscribe and let me know what you want. I haven't decided how long I'm gonna keep it up. I may switch it back to my name, but uh, Winona Gardner. But thank you. This is Captain Buffy signing off.